pygmy marmoset habitat, Audrey is mum of two hyperactive boys. Gus and Scamp. Pygmy marmosets are the world's smallest monkeys. They do get a nickname of finger monkeys because they can fit around your finger. Eight-year-old Audrey has been with her nine-year-old mate Gummy since she arrived at Chester two years ago. They seem to bond straight away, really. Once they're together, they, they tend to pair for life. Audrey copes pretty well with the boys. She's a good mom. She'll keep them in check if she has to. I think she's got the right balance, really, of being a good protective mom, but letting them venture off on their own as well. Pygmy marmosets are no heavier than a tomato. <sighs> Where's the missus? So their weight needs to be monitored closely as part of their health checks. We weigh the pygmy marmosets twice a week. It's really important that we monitor them regularly because even if they lose a few grams, it could be quite significant. It's a sign it's not very well. You seriously need to stop taking all the food, dude. He's not buffered, is he? Look at him, don't care. <laughs> He's funny. You wouldn't think such little animals would have such characters, but they do. Ah, oh, she's coming. She's coming. She's getting closer. The team have noticed that recently, rather than losing weight, Audrey has been gaining it. There we go. 176. Oh, that's her heaviest. She's definitely eating her fair share of food and maybe some for some other little animals inside her. She's looking like a little ball with a head at the minute. Look at that belly, missus. Look at that belly. Pygmy marmosets normally give birth to twins, so Audrey could soon have her hands even more full than they already are. Looking like it could be any day now, really. I'm glad we didn't put a sweepstake on, because I would have lost by now, for sure. Audrey has given birth to twins overnight. It's really exciting because whenever we have any babies, it feels like an achievement and also it's obviously nice for them to have new additions. That takes our group up to six and that's a really good size for a family group of pygmy marmosets. The babies are Audrey's fifth set of twins. I mean, they tend to have twins because the survival rate of offspring is quite low. It's about 25% in the wild. So it's really important that the mum keeps hold of them, carries them around. They need to be with her 24-7 because they're completely helpless when they're born. Audrey needs to carry the babies for at least eight weeks. They're not massive, but obviously, neither is Audrey, so it is a lot of weight for her to carry around. Even in the safety of the zoo, the twins will be extremely vulnerable in the first few weeks of their lives. With the five sets of twins that she's had here, um, we lost a set of twins. And then we had a set for about a month, and then one of them died, unfortunately. Scamp was originally a twin, but unfortunately she lost the other one. It was quite healthy, I think, until about 10 days old, and then it just dropped down dead. We just came in one morning, and he was on the floor. Maybe if they've jumped and knocked him and he's fallen, that's, you know, what's most likely to have happened, really. They're both clinging on well at the minute, so hopefully we're going to get two healthy little babies. Aww. When the babies are born, they weigh about 16 grams, so you can imagine just how small and delicate they are. There's always risks, the likelihood of both surviving is quite low, so you're always a bit scared. In the pygmy marmoset habitat, it's been four weeks since Audrey gave birth to twins. And a month of round-the-clock care, carrying and nursing the twins, seems to be taking its toll. She is looking pretty tired and um, I think that's fair, considering the weight that she's got on her back. 
be getting to a point now where to be like, I don't really want to carry you anymore, you're getting a bit heavy. Or geez, they'll probably start trying to wipe them against branches with the back to try and get them off. OK, I've carried you for enough. Get off now. <laughs> Keepers think Scamp's twin fell to his death. So pushing the twins off before they're ready could be dangerous. Hi, guys. Where is everyone? Every morning, the team need to check up on them. Yesterday, it took me 15 minutes to find all of them. Hello. The babies are that small, you kind of just have to look for maybe a little bump or something. Today, there seems to be one missing. Audrey's definitely got one. I want to try and make sure we see them both. When I walked in, I saw all four adults and one baby. In the past, we've lost them, so there's always that part of you that's like, oh, are they OK? Are they all still around? Well, you've got them both. Hi. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I see two tails and two heads. We're all good. We have them all. They're a month old today, so you'd like to think that at a month, hopefully out of the danger zone. But, you know, we are working with particularly endangered species here. Um, so it's important to get that right balance of being protective, but also keeping a close eye on them. Audrey's pygmy marmoset twins are now six weeks old. As their weight increases, carrying them is harder than ever. But Dad Gummy is by her side, ready to share the load. What we've got on our side this time is that the group's a bit bigger, so there's a few animals in there to help parent them. Witnessing Gummy's enthusiasm for childcare, eldest son Gus volunteers his services too. Gus is a good son. He's actually been helping with the babies and we have actually seen him carrying them. It's really important for Gus to get those social dynamics in young so that when he eventually moves on and can start his own family, he's got that experience of being in a family group. Even six-month-old Scamp wants to look after the twins. I have seen Scamp looking a couple of times, like he's observing, you know, what to do. We're hopeful that, you know, he'll get involved at some point. He's still only really little himself, to be fair, so it'd be quite interesting to see if he does take them, if he takes one or two, because I'm not sure two will fit on him, to be honest. <laughs> it's just a really nice dynamic to see all of the family getting involved, not just leaving it to one individual. Humans could learn quite a lot from animals, really, couldn't they? Oh, <laughs>